Hey guys, this is a, another plant vlog. So this is my first ever fig leaf fig plant. And don't mind my um, peace lily on the right side. I moved that up here because, um, I actually moved that today, because um, the flowers are as green. And I mean, I'm with a lot of um, plant groups and a person suggested that it's probably because it's getting a ton of light. So I moved it. So anyway, um, this is my first ever fiddly fig. I've always kind of been curious about them, but I just didn't know how to take care of them and I was scared. A friend of mine that I went to grade school, I think, she encouraged me to get it. She said, you know, you love plants and all that. And she is like a plant lover as well. And because she lives... Um, in the tropics, her plants are way bigger, but she was like saying it's way cheaper, um, in the U S. Um, so she's like, you will probably enjoy the plant, you know, just try it out. It's not really that expensive to purchase. So I did. And, um, I forgot when I watered it. I do have a plant journal. So I always, you know, keep tabs when I water it, what I what I water it with, um, all that good stuff. I, I put in as much detail as I can. It does, for me, it's like helping me due to the fact of my multiple head traumas that I've endured in the past uh, few years. And um, so it does kind of help me because sometimes... As sad as it is, I don't even remember the day. I mix up days. I mix up, like, I'll just forget what I did literally 10 seconds ago. So sometimes that does happen. So actually keeping a plant journal, if you guys are interested, um, let me know down below. I can always flip through those. I was actually thinking of doing a flip through of that, but I wasn't sure when. But anyway, so this is it. And I got this, I think, at Lowe's. Yes, I got this at Lowe's. And it is about six plants in one. I got this for $19.99. And um, it was always this bushy. And it was the bushiest that I found they had for sale. And what I wanted to show and to kind of vlog is that when I got this, I want this to be taller. So I twisted and yanked off the top. So it encourages uh, growth because I want these to be tall trees. I want this to be the um, replacement for all of my um, window covers, which they're, you know, like, I don't really care about. I, I'm not really interested in getting curtains because or any kind of window cover because I'm allergic to dust. And every time it's just a mess. It's just bad for allergies. So anyway, um, and I love plants. I did every single Every single plant in this particular, um, in this, in this just one planter because this was sold as one plant. I did all of that. So this one is starting one as well. If you could see that. Um, I'm very, very excited because when I had that, I was very worried due to the fact that a lot of, um, people, including my husband, have mentioned that when you are, um, doing something like this because after I did this he said you probably should have done it in like early spring um, Just because it's like warmer months coming up and it might be easier for the plant to acclimate in that way But I got too excited and I showed it to him after I did everything that I was supposed to there was sap coming out all that good stuff So I know I did everything right. It's just patience. So this is another one um I, I checked this this morning, and there's um, another one right here, which I'm pretty happy about right there. Let's see where the other ones are. Um, okay, so this one, I don't really see anything right there. If you guys see any something, I'm probably getting blind. I don't see any growth there yet. But patience is key, especially when it comes to gardening. So this has actually really helped me with patience because 
before I started doing gardening, I really didn't have a ton of patience. Uh, my husband actually was the one that converted me into gardening. He just he just loved gardening. And this one, um, there is nothing yet that I can see. If you could focus on that. Let's focus on that right there. Yep, nothing. Um, let's see. This one right here. I don't see anything yet. And I remember I also um, did some, I forgot what they call it now, like you slice below a node. And I did that with, um, I don't even remember which plant I did that to. And I don't even remember if I could actually describe it really well in my plant journals. But I did that because I want this to grow taller and I want it to be very bushy. And I will just actually, you know, um, when it reaches a certain point, um, I will actually just take the leaves off from the bottom and maybe probably try to propagate them and grow my own. But um, so far, unless an, uh, unless the plant grows from like seed and it's a fast grower, it really is, um, it's a, a something new for me. However, um, I remember my, my husband and my mother-in-law actually said that I have like a crazy green thumb because I don't really have a lot of gardening experience before I met my husband and, um, we met about less than 10 years ago and he introduced me to gardening and I do way better than him. Like, a lot better than him. So, um, I always ask for his advice and what he's done and all that good stuff if there's something I've never done before. But when it comes to, like, daily taking care of the plants, I actually do a better job. Um, he doesn't kill them. It's just that my plants are always way healthier and bigger and fatter in a sense. And I really love my plants to be that way. I love all my plants to be big and juicy and luscious and just gigantic. So, um, if you guys have grown fiddly fig and you obviously probably know a lot more than me, let me know how my plant is doing. Um, if you've, I've cleaned them as much as I can, um, the, these burn spots, I, these aren't from me. Um, this this sad um, this sadly was from the store. All the burn parts like this one, and you know since that is just such a tiny part of it, I usually am more of a person that I let nature take its course. So unless it like completely separated itself naturally from the stem or the stalk, I don't really yank it off. Um, I just let it sit there and let it take its course because, you know, in nature, they, that's all they do. Nobody's out there to prune it. You know what I mean? So I just do that. And, um, when it's just like there, it falls down, then I put it in our compost and we compost. Um, I try as much as possible our household to be close to zero waste as possible. Um, so that is really our daily Goals. So everything that we eat, if we can, we put it in our compost. And then if we have leftovers that we can't give it in compost, our dogs actually eat it. They are the healthiest you could ever, you know, have. A lot of people say, oh, don't feed them human food. That's that's not, my dogs are, have never been sick when feeding them that. But, you know, to each his own. I'm not telling you guys you need to do that. I'm just saying we've seen a ton of money on dog food because we give them our leftovers and our leftovers don't go to the garbage. Um, there are certain things that we don't give them. But anyway, I've just been rambling on and on. I We try as much as possible to compost for, especially for outside plants. Um, this is obviously not going to get that just because um, from... What I know about composting, my husband is really in charge of the composting. And um, from what he said, it's not a good idea to, to use compost 
for indoor potting dirt because compost encourages worms. Um, and because potting soil underneath, I mean, pot, um, plants in planters, you know, it doesn't really hit the earth. There won't be any worms being encouraged to surface to help with the with the root growth. So, um, if you guys have any questions on what I use to take care of this beauty, to this baby, um, I really, really love this. What I really, I mean, than they are, and what I want to do is cover this window with just fiddly fig, probably a different plant as well, but I'm really focusing on the fiddly fig because they're trees. Um, if you guys have other suggestions that will be taken care of and needs fertilizer the same way as fiddly fig, let me know down below because I love to hear that. And we have cathedral ceilings for this particular window. So I really need a plant that actually can go pretty high because that's what I just want to do. And that's why there's a fiddle leaf fig here. And I do plan to expand my fiddle leaf fig collection and to have just fiddle leaf fig figs here. And I also have a downstairs, um, downstairs or a different side of the house window, which is actually wider than this window, but not, a, not as tall. And it has an awning. And I'm planning on filling it with fiddle leaf fig as well. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, advice, let me know down below, please. All of that is going to be, is very, very welcome. I hope you enjoyed my video for my plant vlog. And, um, I just want to show you guys how beautifully shiny I clean all these leaves as much as I could. Um, sometimes it's just kind of hard, you know, when it's like this. Because I don't want to damage the leaf. But as much as possible, I clean it. This is a little dirty, so I'm, I need to clean that one. But this is, like, super, super beautiful and shiny. It's just, as much as possible, you want to clean all your leaves for all your plants. Because that's how they actually suck in the, the light. And then um, digest everything. Water, nutrients, and then the light. And that's how they become bigger and healthy and beautiful. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. You're going to hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, I hope you subscribe to my channel. And, of course, hit the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. Thank you, guys. And um, I hope you want to check again on the journey for this particular plant. Um, I haven't really decided if I would split this up in, um, when it's the end of winter or early spring, or I'll just keep it as is. I haven't decided on that yet. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.